Good morning, everybody. This is your boy, D-Mac. So let's talk about this real quick. So, good old Sesame Place. We have a situation that took place with some young black children at the Sesame Place parade to where one of the characters seemingly waved off some black children as they were going by after high-fiving some white children and white people. Now, there's been a statement issued by Sesame Place. There's been a statement issued by um, um, the character as well, I believe. And there's been a whole lot of excuses given. But I don't want to talk about that because there very well could be the situation, you know, the explanation that they gave. But what I want to talk about is we've, created such an environment that this is even a conversation. That's the issue that I want to talk about. The environment that we created in the United States to where something that was more than likely a mistake is looked at more closely because of the rhetoric that's been pushed around and all of the racial tension that's been created within this environment through politics, through uh, social issues, and just through straight out violence, through ignorance and, and not having any understanding. People in impoverished situations, we're still coming out of a pandemic. So that's playing into the factor. There's a whole lot of factors that's playing into this. And so we're in a place right now to where any little thing can be labeled as racism. Any little thing can be labeled as prejudice or or whatever label is thrown on something to to take its validation away. You know, I really, really hate to see us in such a low state of being. And this is why I keep my flag the way I keep it, because we're in distress as a country right now. And this is just a prime example of what I've been talking about this whole time. Like my message or not, there's no way that you can deny that this country is in distress. We are a nation in distress. Everybody loves to run back to uh, economics, but we're not talking about economics. We're talking about the soul of this country. The spirit of this country is gone. It's gone. And we have to get it back. And we're not going to get it back through intimidation and through having arguments and toxic conversations and January 6th type events. We're going to have to do it through love the way that it was meant to be done. So I'm just making a call to everybody to pull together this time.